The world has become a global village foiled by the internet and technology. Nigeria is one country with a lot of potential, attracting major international tech companies and other organizations. However, there is the need to ensure that .ng domain name is adopted as the primary URL for every organization that wants to do business in Nigeria. Using .ng domain names prevents cyber squatting, local targeting, and grows the country's ICT industry and boosts the national pride. Experts in the DNS industry believe that the more Nigerians adopt .ng, the better for the economy in general. Francisca Iluezuma, product manager, Opalink, joins us to discuss ways to get more Nigerians on the internet. When we talk about the DNS, um, we're talking about the domain name system. And of course, when you talk about the domain name, you cannot talk about it without the IP addresses. So the IP addresses are what are formed to the large numbers that are translated into alphabets to form a particular name which you desire so that the internet can communicate with the server and you'll be able to get the information or it's, it's going to bring out the information needed. So for example, um, we have um, channelstv.com, that is a domain name. Obviously, when you type in channelstv.com, that is what you know. But there are some processes that goes behind, which is a particular number, some numbers that are so large that you cannot even remember. So it translates that channelstv.com into those numbers, and it interacts with the internet to bring out the information that you need. So for us to be able to remember the address we want to give to people, they narrowed it down for us to have alphabetical names whichever word you want to have, which is known as the domain name, so that people can remember. So take for instance, I want to own a website and I need to sell on my website. I cannot give you numbers. You can't remember those numbers. So I must have to think of a particular name for my website. Then I give that out to you. You type it into the browser, you translate it into the IP address, communicate with the internet and the server, then you'll be able to have all the information I have about my website to you. That's what it simply means. Looking at DNS globally, um, how has Nigeria fared? I would say we are struggling. We have not gotten there yet. We are really very struggling. So um, I would like to start with the adoption of the CCTLD. Let's start from there. Now, if you look at South Africa, I'm narrowing down to Africa right now, they have over 1 million domain names accepted. Looking at Nigeria, what is our population? Over 120 million, and we don't have up to 1 million domain names. I think we are still in thousand, like 100,000 in the whole of Nigeria. So you can see the wide gap. I'm just talking about mm. Africa. So if I now leave Africa and enter Europe, what do you expect? We have the .eu, we have the .uk, we have all those extensions that the indigenous have adopted and they are using it daily, 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 and they've really adopted it. So coming down to Nigeria, we are not doing so well. So I think we should be able to start with our own brand, which is the .ng. Let's embrace it, start there, and see how we are going to do with the adoption of the, AM, the domain name system in Nigeria. How important is the DNS industry to the growth of the technology ecosystem? You know, there is nothing you can do in tech without the DNS. Like I said, it's the IP addresses that transform into all these um, domain names or the addresses that we have today. So you cannot come up with a tech without having a domain name or without passing through an IP process. It's, it's not possible. So if you look at today, the way our, uh, our economy is growing, we, know, we all have our mobile apps on our phones. We all have, um, what's this called, your internet banking. It's very easy, and that's technology in Nigeria. You can't compare what we have today with what we used to have those days. So we are adopting it, and we are trying, and we are improving daily. So the DNS is a major factor for all these technologies to be adopted in Nigeria. Looking at local content and the DNS industry, how do you think both work hand in hand? When we talk about the local content, these are our own brands in Nigeria. So before we will be able to promote our brands, we have to adopt this DNS. Look at, um, we talked about the global world earlier. 
you can see the way we heard about them. They didn't have to come to Nigeria to tell us what they do. We found them through the internet. So we have to sell ourselves through the internet. We have to be there for people to find us, for people to know what we do in Nigeria. So if I want to read something about Nigeria these days, all I have to do is just log on to a particular website. It brings out everything I have to know about our particular brand in Nigeria. So I think we are trying in that aspect right now, bringing our local content into the DNS industry. Also, um, I will have to touch the part of the hosting business in Nigeria. You can see that Nigeria now has their own hosting facility. Now you can host your content here in Nigeria as well. You don't have to travel all the way to UK, US, France, anywhere to host your content. This is our own indigenous hosting platform, which is open for every one of us here in Nigeria to be able to host our website. So we are also um, trying to embrace the hosting service in Nigeria so that every human that is interested in hosting their service will be able to use the local hosting we have here in Nigeria. And it is not different from what we have abroad. So local content and DNS work together as well. So without the DNS, I don't think um, the global world would hear what we do or would know about what we do. So in terms of strengthening local content and the DNS industry, what role do you expect government to play? Um, I think I would expect the government to help with um, hosting locally, make it more affordable for, for, for people to access. Because the major complaint is that hosting is very expensive, especially when you're hosting in Nigeria, hosting locally is expensive, it's not affordable. So I think if they can come in in that aspect, it will be a welcome um, address or a welcome opportunity for us that are in the DNS industry. Also, we need um, the government to, if they can encourage um, those that are already in the business, if there's a way they could help them to grow the business. The economy, the standard of living in Nigeria is expensive these days. It's not easy. So we we'll talk about we don't have um, power supply, which is the major factor for hosting locally if there is a way government would help in that aspect. I don't know how they could do it. They should just sit and walk around it so that these things will be easier for those in the DNS industry to be able to access. It's going to help us because once we start hosting locally, we are promoting the country. Tell us a bit about what you're doing to strengthen local content and the DNS industry today. In my company, what we do basically is encourage people to embrace the DotNG brands. We go to schools. We go, to, uh, we go to all these SME programs. When you're registering your domain, your, your business name, we advise you choose your domain name alongside with it so you don't lose that name that you want. So we promote that a lot. Anytime we have to visit SME, SMEs or attend programs that has to do with startups, we encourage them to do that. Talking about students, we are opening their eyes to it. Because as a student, you, you, you don't know what you're going to face once you leave school. But we have started training students on the DNS industry, how it works. Finally, as a woman in the DNS industry, what do you think we can do to encourage more women to follow your steps? There are various organizations that women can find themselves, can join for this kind of business. We have like the women in tech. We have a lot of women there that are into the domain industry. So for us to get a lot of women in this, we need to do more of awareness and show them what women can do in this industry. So oftentimes we see when men go out to talk, discuss about the tech issues, related issues, no. Let women start doing the talking. I think that would encourage more women to start thinking, going into that line. So I think for me, I have decided to always be out there for people to see me and see what I can do so that if there is a woman out there that is aspiring to speak up in tech industry and doesn't know how to start, I want to encourage them to be able to stand up and speak up. Francisca, it's been amazing chatting with you today and thank you for being on the show today. Thank you very much, CFA.